Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today. How are you all doing today? It's that time again when the modern technology needs to have its monthly maintenance, i.e. filters to be cleaned and serviced. And let's see what today will bring us as Vintage Week 2020 is here again. Um, so it's been a bit of a struggle over the Easter. <laughs> For a lot of people, I think for most people, people have been told to stay in their houses. But there has been, I know for a fact, looking at some of the products that's come off that you can't get your hands on. A lot of people are spring cleaning and deep cleaning their house. So we decided, as it is spring now, to do a bit of a spring clean. So we need to have a vacuum that we feel that we can start spring cleaning with. So... How has the Dyson's got on with it? Well, today the V11's not been used as much as it has been because Cole's been getting out quite a lot of his um, other machines out to give me a helping hand. Um, he was actually helping with various machines to do the cleaning for me, which is very thoughtful of him. The, uh, the ball animal too, as you can see, look. Because I sucks a little bit of plaster dust up with it, still a little bit foggy. But I'm hopefully at the end of the uh, this week, we've had no more dusty stuff in there. So hopefully all that will be out of the system and we'll be back to square one with it. So hopefully these will have a proper clean with some antibacterial wipes, which is like gold dust, isn't it, mate? Um, it is Easter tomorrow as well. And um, Carl's got something for Easter, so we're going to do an unboxing tomorrow of something. If you're interested. So, um, which vacuum have we got today then, mate? We, we just, there. So we've got, we've decided to use a classic Dyson. So a beast there, back and, we've, and we've also used, picked a machine that is a multi-purpose machine. So we'll get this one now and show which one we're machine using. I've chose for Vintage Week this week. We did a Vintage Week very last week. We were using a, what I would call... Anything over three years is a vintage machine in the Dyson world because they're so advanced with technology. So we've decided to use the DCL4 Zorbster. Now that has is a quite a special machine, this one. Um, so we had to use that one about last week, mate, didn't we? And we did actually occur a little problem which I've managed to to fix. So one of the bearings I seized on the brush roll. So. I think it could do with um, having a replacement clutch or to have the clutch rebuilt. But obviously, with everything that's going on, um, it's not a good time really to try and order the parts to, I think, some of the little shops now that would sell it. I think shops like Manchester Vax do the clutch rebuild kits from them now. But it does have a special clutch in this one, so you can't really buy them as easy as the standard clutches, can you? Yeah, so this one has quite, quite a unique feature because you can use the dry cleaning powder on, on, your, on, your, on your actual rugs. And there are various brands of dry cleaning powder. There's like Vanish, there's the Dyson Zorb, there's the... What's the other stuff there is? There's the Siebel stuff, isn't it? Duplo, Duplo stuff. And also you can get bulwark. Now we now we've actually got um, two years ago picked up some quite a lot, about four bags of bulwark powder. So what, what we're gonna be doing today, I'm actually gonna give this a house a good clean. No. And what we're also gonna do, we're gonna be sticking some um, carpet conditioning um, stuff down it. Probably the Dyson stuff I think we'll, we'll use that. And then we'll probably buy another one to keep it because I think we've got half a thing there. So that'd be enough to do the two main rugs in here. Um, what it does, it freshens up the, the pile in your carpet. So I suppose it's a bit like using... Use the water when you're to get the water. Yeah. It's a bit like using uh, conditioner in your hair. You know, it, it, the, the hair conditioner makes your hair softer. And that's exactly what the Dyson Powder does. It sort of reactivates the pile. Um, this one's had a bit of a hammering. You know, it's a high use area. Um, so we did do a carpet clean, I think just after Christmas, or just before, no, I think it was just after Christmas. 
So I think it's just time to freshen them up now with some dry cleaning powder. Um, as everybody, a lot of people are actually um, sort of like in their houses now and only go out when they need to. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna use this one. So what you do with this one here, you can take this bin off here. I think there's a button here and that's right. So you've got a foot pedal that disengages this. That flicks it out like that when you use an absorber power down and it shakes it on. Hey, you not just push it in. Yeah. So one of Carl's favourite machines, this one also, I don't know if you can see on the video, it has greened up a little bit since we've run. But that is a normal thing for a UK um, Dyson. Um, I've just found that the, the ones that are built in the UK, well, the ones that go green in it, like the DCO ones, and then one, the ones, the DCO4, some of them were made in the UK, and some of them were made in, made in Malaysia, weren't they? So this is one of the original ones. But what I like with this one here is the fact there's the filters on the thing. I think it's every six months in it on these. So they have got HEPA filters on this one. This is like an upgraded machine. Um, these are every six months, I think, on these filters. So yeah, we're using this one for the week. Um, they call these proper Dysons, to be honest with you. You know, people say, oh yeah, oh, you, oh, I like the bigger ones. I mean, the big ones are nice, but I personally, for me, I like the, one, I like the balls because they, you can actually steer them around the house a lot better. Um, but these have got are still very good machines indeed. They also have a clutch on it, so you can turn it off for hard floors. We've got an abundance of tools to use, so I'm going to pick my favourite cleaning tools, which is the uh, the soft dusting brushes for in here. Um, I think we've got flexible crevice tools to fit it as well, because these stupid little ones. That's right, because these here aren't really long enough. I mean, if you look at the how how the crevice tool over the years has got a lot longer, you know? And I personally think that they should have a long one on one of these. I still think that should be, that would be a nice feature to have on there. Um, so yes, yeah, so we'll be using this beast. They call this the Ford Cortina of the vacuum cleaner world because back in the day, the Ford Cortina was very popular. It was a bigger version of an, of an Escort, obviously more suited to a family. The, es the Escort was more of a, a two, 2 plus 2 sort of style. While well, the Ford Cortina, you could get three to four children in the back before because it because seat belts weren't law. So you could get four four people in the back of a Cortina. So yeah, use this one for the week. It's going to be a bit of a... It's going to be a nice change, I think, using, you know, these bigger machines use a lot. I think this has got a 1400 watt motor. And at the time... You could buy Hoover cleaners with like 2,000, 2,200 and the Miele cleaners, 2,500. So these were actually fairly low wattage. Um, Dyson over the years, I think the most the most largest wattage motor they ever put in the machine was a DC32, which was 1,600. Um, so yeah, so see how we get on with this one, see if it breaks. Um, like I say, I'm gonna have to just keep an eye on the brush roll on the bottom. See if it's still working. Um, one reason why it didn't, it didn't, um, it didn't go is because I kept the original brush roll, and I just relubricate the bearings, and it just dried up. Um, but luckily, a bit of WD forty, and I think I sprayed it through with silicone and soaked it overnight. It's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Could be something to look at getting some of those um, bearings to go in it, if I can get the things out. That's the hardest part. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Mad 8. Stay safe. Um, like you say, you know, it's, it is cracking weather outside. And most people, I mean, we're, we're very lucky. We have a garden, but Carl personally likes to stay in. We're on, we're on bug lockdown at the moment where there's no insects allowed in the house. So we've, we've got machines out ready. We've got all the fly killers out ready and the, the rackets. And we may... So got this one, I think, show them the racket we got. Bought this one a couple of weeks ago from B&M for four pound. Got a good crack on that one, mate, isn't it? Very powerful, these things. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye for now.
and stay safe. Bye.